can't agree to that and then we close the deal and then you revert back to the original listing price. That doesn't make sense. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? It's Anthony. Hey, Anthony, what's up, bud? What's going on? <sighs> Not much, man. I'm just trying to understand this deal. Uh, Trevor kind of gave me the rundown of it and I wanted to understand from you what's what's going on. It sounds like we took in your watch and Trevor told you this would sell between 17.5 and 18,000. We have an offer on it and he reached out to you a couple days ago to ask if you were okay netting 16.5 and you said yes. So we sold the watch and we were gonna have the client zell us a deposit and then wire you direct. And then now that we've collected the deposit, the price is changing and you're wanting 500, you're wanting 17,000 versus 16,5. Yeah, let, let me, I'm, I'll, I'll give you a quick uh, breakdown on it, Anthony. Okay. So, uh, first, first, first things first, I've got the text messages right now so there's no confusion. He did say would post at 17.5 to 18K if unworn. I said, yes, don't box. And I asked him specifically that 8K plus tax. He said, yes, we would post at 18K plus tax, but you would net 17.1 if it's all the 18K, and I confirmed a 5% consignment. He said, yes, et cetera, et cetera. So, and, and there's been a couple, you know, I, I think there's been some miscommunication via text um, along the way, because I, I reread the message. I was like, yeah, I guess I kind of get it. Um, but anyway, you know, when our math is done at a certain number, that, 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 that's kind of what I'm going based off specifically when I also confirmed it 18k plus tax. So let me ask you this. You confirmed that 18k plus tax is what we would list it at whenever you sent the watch in on consignment. That's a different conversation two weeks ago when we didn't have the watch. That's what we said we were going to start the list at. Now two weeks later when he calls you and says, hey, we have an offer for this and you, you will net 16.5, is that okay with you? And you said, yes. You can't agree to that, and then we close the deal, and then you revert back to the original listing price. That doesn't make sense. Sure, so there, there was a bit of a misconfusion. If you, if you look at the text thread, and you know, you've got his phone so you can see it. He said, hey, I have an offer at 16.5 on the sub. If you're interested, just throwing it away. And I said, I sent it off to Cali, but if it doesn't sell, I got you. So that was to one of my employees. I got a guy named Trevor that works for me. I misread, and then he's like, oh, I know LOL, the one you sent this to. And I said, I'm sorry, that was a different Trevor that works for me. And he said, it's on assignment with us. Someone just pitched me an offer, just keeping you updated. So when I said that works for me on keeping me updated, I said, LOL, my bad. And that, that was the end of our conversation, it, it, which is also up there as I'm looking at it. I also told him I paid about 17K. And I'm, I'm not interested in losing money on a two-tone sub. If I gotta hold on to it, I mean, I don't need that 17K. But if he agreed that the, from 18 to 17.5, when we take the 5% off 17.5, he's gonna be below his 17 regardless. All right. So that was the original agreement we had. He's saying, he's saying that whenever you guys initially talked, and we said a price starting price is at 18, but realistically 17.5, which is why we always quote a range, 17.5 to 18,000, sure. If, if it had sold for 17.5, you would have been under 17,000, but you were still okay with it then. It's okay. You can, you can send the 16, 6, 7, 5, whatever that number is, and it's all good. I just had a specific number in mind. I don't need that extra $300. No, I don't need to even sell that watch right now. But let me give you the, the information, and uh, I got a flight to catch back to Dallas tomorrow. So let me give you whatever information you need, and let's carry on. So we're good at 16.5? I think the number was 16, 6, 7, 5. But yeah, we'll do. Okay, so I took some notes also. I was like, I was looking through and the numbers. I guess I'll let you start first and I'll tell you what I was looking at that I really liked. Yeah, we're called, we're New Tradition. We operate, you know, we have about 170 units across Los Angeles, uh, but we're mainly based out of New York. Um, and then our secondary office is out here in Los Angeles. And we base a lot of our stuff off of kind of owning some primary marquee units. Anything in between from, you know, regular static walls, you know, billboards to different shade billboards to a digital network, um, the Hollywood Highland Mall, the block downtown. So we're spread across uh, a, a pretty wide variety so, of, across the footprint of Los Angeles. Right. So the Reef, that's, that's a three-sided billboard, right? And it's all digital? Yeah, three-sided, all digital. Uh, it's massive. On those digital ones, what's the... What's the runtime before they switch? Sure. So we run um, 
99% of our visuals run for 10 seconds on a 120 second loop. Um, so every 10 seconds it'll rotate through. Okay, on 120 seconds, okay. So I like that one. I'm curious on price under that, but there's also a few of them like number 3004 in mid city those are the ones i really like i like those massive boards right at an intersection and then there's a couple of them that are the dual like there's 3004 3005 those that split billboard everything in the industry is obviously constantly changing we run typically on four week campaigns starting on a monday ending on a sunday okay so it's really just dependent on you know which locations you find that you like the most and then me working on our end to see when they're available and then coordinate it to be able to make it happen. It really depends on pricing on how many of these I do and which ones, but that Hollywood and Highland, I was picking all these ones. And it's kind of, if I did the same ad on each of those boards, it would kind of just like litter that whole area, which would be cool. So yeah, we could definitely try and focus on one area and build out and see what's available and kind of dominate. Uh, an area on the map that you're looking for. We'd have to get an ad put together and designed and then the photos shot, well, that wouldn't take very long, but I would say realistically, like first or second week of September, I'd be ready to put one up. You know where Rodeo, like the main strip of Rodeo Drive kind of dead ends into the Beverly Wilshire Hotel? And then it caddy, yes. it caddy corners around to the right-hand side of the hotel. When you go around to the right-hand side, you go down to the next set of buildings. That's us on the left-hand side. All right, well then you'll hear from me shortly and then hopefully we can get this moving uh, shortly. Yes, sir. All right, send me that and I'll get to looking at it. Sounds good. Thanks, Thanks, man. Take care. Bye. Okay. That billboard right there sets right off of the side of it. And this, this thing says it gets 69 million impressions in a four week period, but that'll cost 200, that'll cost a quarter million dollars. That's way too, too much. Here's what I gotta do. If I'm going to spend $30,000 on a billboard for a month, I have to break it down into how much that costs us per day, a thousand bucks a day, and what the ROI is. And can we spend that 30 grand on videos or other advertisements that would be better utilized? What I want to establish right now is the presence here in LA to local LA people get them all in and let them help us spread the word because LA is full of influencers. If I can, if I can captivate a bunch of people here and pick up local clients, I'll let them help me spread the word. And then our next set of advertising, when our next budget goes up, we'll focus all on videos. And we have to come up with a captivating ad that can be very, very simple and very easy to read and direct to the point. So. Bro, nice merch, man. You, you got, got a merch uh, coming too? No. <laughs> oh, you got your shirt done? Yeah. Nice. This is some of my original coaching students. Yeah. Just killing it out in San Fran. I like that. You still have that uh, day just? <laughs> the diamond day just? Yeah, my first watch ever. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> first watch. Make you a necklace. That way you can just, <laughs> just walk. You, want to you see it? It ma matches his actual watch, guy. too, Liz. He's going to keep looking now. <laughs> that was the total attacks <laughs> for the day just. <laughs> That's funny. 46, not bad. For what? The yellow gold blue? No, this one. But not Onyx style, the regular black. Oh, okay. That's the new Onyx style one. Yeah. yeah. It's got this that little line at the bottom. Onyx style. Got the little line in the bottom right here. This little line right here would cost $20,000 more than the regular uh, uh, black dial. And you could be the first to have one. We just got this in yesterday. Yeah. This, this is 100% your watch right there. I can see. I got something you'll like, Give. George. Give us an offer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Did you just buy that? Uh, yeah. It came trade in, in. Trade in. Oh, this one? Yeah. That one came in two weeks ago and it, you it started. This before, right? I've never owned that one. I've really? never, I've never actually like personally owned a Royal Oak and I've always wanted a rose gold one, but I always had, you like I had my, this, though, mm -hmm. all right? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've never worn that. He had the equation of time. I had the equation of time, rose the gold. white dial, rose right. gold, but yeah. white dial. Okay. Okay. So They're 200 now. We only asking 200. But I know that'll go back up. So Retail side, 140, 150. So it's not we're not, we're not actually asking. Well, as long as today goes well, we're not asking anything for that. You want me sending you an invoice right now? Mm. Yo, <laughs> business. Boss, I don't care. I sell anything that makes profit. I sell everything that would make money. Yeah, if you sell it, hey, you know what? If you sell that for 200, sell it. I'll go buy another one. 